Uh, yes, you can continue. When's the wave of Dyson Earthers? Dyson Sphere. Yeah. 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 You, I'm sure you saw that video of that 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 girl's sister who thinks they live on the inside of the Earth. I did not. She's a damn idiot. I didn't know. I didn't oh, see that. Oh man, that shit is hilarious. I mean, dude, like anybody th- can thinks anything at this point. Like we're at, you know, like. <laughs> Like, yeah. like, like, you're now able to be like. I mean, for years, I mean, for for generations, we've been born into such a perfectly isolated cocoon yeah. that you don't have contact with real world. Like, I don't know, man. Um, like, you can live in such a bubble of of in- insular thinking that you can completely think that I live crazy on a, shit. I live like, on a cube Earth. Yeah, that, that's why. That's why I mentioned it before. But AJ Styles is perspective is a little unique <laughs> yeah and that daniel bryan's like shut up aj no one cares what you think do you think the world is flat and he's like no no i don't your feet are flat he's like yeah they are but you think the earth is flat and he's like i don't think the earth is flat but there's something to it <laughs> of course. And he's like what does that mean yeah. that yeah, means yeah, you're yeah. embarrassed to yes yeah. you yes, think yes you're it does. that's what it means yeah. i didn't know about this because on no, the talking it's... smack like section and osw yeah. reviews was like I yeah, love AJ yeah, Styles, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, that gets personal. It's it's the it's the I've I've heard it delivered to my face, and but it's just like I'm it. not saying that. I just have some questions. Yeah, yeah, I've got questions, yeah. and I right. fucking ooh, but, ooh, like I'm just <laughs> listen. I'm follow not, the money. Yeah, I'm not telling you to not vaccinate your kids. Do you know what happens to the money? I just have some questions. When it hits the Arctic, it falls off the edge of the Earth. No, it's not, it hits the, the ice void. wall, idiot. The fucking ice wall. Bro. I love the ice the wall. The ice wall's really good. <laughs> the ice wall's really good. Antarctica is fight. actually just a big ice wall around the flat, circular Earth. I remember there was like a trailer for so, for something about flat Earthers and talking about the ice wall. And then it just talks to like a guy that looks like a scientist or like a smart <laughs> dude. And he's just like, they don't know. what's the, They hit the wall. That's why mm. those explorers got lost. And I'm like, what? Oh. I cool. I kind of want to I want to de- deep dive a little bit just to <laughs> like I want to see why this will be the section of the podcast that's cut out as a clip <laughs> for sure. I want to see why like what is the actual enticing thing to somebody who's not a complete moron but just gets bought in on the emotional appeal. You know, it's your way to fight the system, man. Like I, I, I I I want to hear the convincing cell where someone goes, yeah, the earth is, the earth is round. I get that. But yeah, you know what? It also doesn't make that sense. Oh yeah. It doesn't make sense if, if it's flat too, but but the ice wall, but it it can't just pack it, be packaged for what it is because people believe in Xenu, right? You have to actually, you put it in the hands of someone that's charismatic and able to like shut down any of your protests yeah, or yeah. things that you go, that doesn't make sense. And they go, does it? Mm-hmm. And then they have something really, they, then they fucking DO their way through. So, and, and then you believe them at the end. And I kind of want to see that for myself I, I wanna, to get a better understanding of how this insanity a, is a actually a combination of multiple factors. And I think the biggest factor is that everybody wants to believe that they know a secret yeah. that other people don't know. Yeah, there's that. There's that big, 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 big feelings on... on like, um, I'm, there's something bigger happening, and... And I'm the one on the cusp I figured it, it out. You know, yeah. you know what it is? I think it's in South Park, the movie or whatever, when everyone goes down to hell, and then all the all the various religions are like, wait, why are we here? Like, what? Then what was the one real religion? Sorry, it was... Mormons. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's like someone want, when there's a universal truth, yeah. someone's like, I should believe in this and, and to the opposite, mm-hmm. just in case mm-hmm. it turns out I was right. Oh, it's going to be so sick when I'm right. Mm-hmm. And I can, they're all going to see di- when yeah, I'm standing on top of the goddamn ice wall mm-hmm. with my fucking ice wall flag. I'm going to be the king of the earth. I think yeah, no, yeah. I'm never going to actually go down to the ice I wall mean, or make any effort whatsoever, but it'd be great when it happens. We're looking at probably a combination of two things. One, the fact that humans are inherently curious. We always want to know what the mystery is. We have yeah. to solve the answer. And the fact that, you know, the saying about you shy, you turn a light on and there's always a shadow, like conspiracy can always retreat into the smallest. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, grain of sand sure. that because we don't know what's under that grain of sand like 
Like that mystery that makes us like as good as we are at everything else mm-hmm. in life is also that little bug that's going to make you fucking continue when to I was in put the, the unexplainable uh, in spaces that it couldn't fit when into. When I was in high school, I was so deep in an alien conspiracy theories. Sure. I was sure. like so yeah. deep. It's an appealing it's like place to go. The, the governments of the world are all hiding yeah. aliens everywhere. And if you're, if you want and, and to, and then like, I turn twenty, like you will okay. never, pe- yeah, you will, look, look. you'll never zoom I out don't... of your own thought process and 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 see that you actually enjoy thinking this way. It was fun, you know, but but no one's gonna admit. But it they don't. A, it was a fun little adventure that but, I could have for me. But they won't admit that. Yeah, everyone right? wants <laughs> their own little adventure. Like they'll take it as dead serious and just say like, no, this is what's actually happening without zooming out and going. You just you enjoy being in this place, it was, right? Yeah, that's it. So, and then you combine that with. Another thing, which is the actual possibility that li- like there's no rhyme or reason to any and all of this. We're hurtling through space. Yeah. We're on a fucking and spinning that, and rock. And that's when that happened. That's, and that's there's I, no purpose whatsoever. I went. No grand concepts. I went. You're just here and then you're not. I went from. And that's too scary. I went from. So we needed. We have to contain it somehow. I, I went from joyful alien conspiracy to ecstatic crippling nihilism which is like like oh wow the inevitable heat death of the universe is the most horrific thing i can imagine but instead video game well instead of because the problem is you have that thought and then instead of trying to find value in the things that you have that are here that are temporary and beautiful you instead give into this fear and try to find an explanation that has no bearing in reality whatsoever or evidence for it because you you crave an explanation files at the most impressionable age i could possibly watch the x files i'm like 14 yeah you know so and now it's like, eh, there's probably not government alien conspiracies. But that X Filesness is so in the back of my brain that if it was ever to be revealed, like without any question, the government's yeah, 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 no aliens all the time. Like we we've all been, <laughs> I'll be the first one to be like, called it, even if I because that it's it's yeah, back there. It's a variant of like I, I pushed I it am, far, far back. I'm am am very anti-ghost. Yeah, I I'm very anti-haunting. I'm so there. Right, I, I believe that that is the dumbest thing ever, and ghost hunting shit is hilarious. But I'll still say, you know, if any place was going to be haunted. It would this, be that this place. fucking place. Sure, sure. I watched yeah. a movie yeah. about this real life haunted uh, insane asylum that's been abandoned in South Korea. Yeah. I believe that place is haunted, but I don't believe in ghosts and hauntings. But that place, that's the one, though. I mean, there's certain examples where I'm like that has to be by the law of averages. You, you like you listen to enough interviews with people that do these shows and it becomes painfully obvious at a point <laughs> that like none of them are actually like they they believe the words and they believe what they're doing. None of them are in on it, but they're simply like casted to go and do a ghost hunting show. Yeah. And then everyone else on the staff goes and rattles some boxes and fucking bangs a pipe. And then the person who's hosting is not in on that. <laughs> so they have genuine reactions, but the rest of the crew is. Yeah, look, yeah. I'm gonna and that's all it is. Okay, but so they can be honest in an interview and say, I don't know what that noise was. I don't know what I saw. Right, but the okay. re- but everyone else making the show is like, oh yeah, yeah. For whatever. those shows, there's two camps. There's people that are like, yeah, this is bullshit. I'm making this for money, right? Yeah. But I think if you do that long enough, you start to be like, there's probably something to yes. this. Yes. But the, after a while, it's like, no, I saw this or I saw that, but I was a non-believer. Then there's the people that are like. I saw some weird fucking shit in that weird like shack I was in once and I made some type of like a uh, flyer and I found other people that also got fooled by stupid shit. That's fucking crazy. And then we'll pref- have a group and, and we will want to be the ones that find the conclusive evidence. Like you're saying, then it's you curiosity. Can find, then you can find those people believe in their truth. That, <laughs> that's my truth. Is, my you truth. can't take my truth and away from me. And then you can ask yeah. that person because they found Mew under the truck. Yes. Pokemon Red. That's just another form of it. Yeah. If I if my truth is that there is a skinless war widow who died in that house in World War II, that is my truth. 
In you the can't end, take that away. In conclusion. Not in conclusion. In conclusion. Damn it. It's, Ghosts are real. It's yeah. all. It's <laughs> they're it, all over. In conclusion, it's all scary. But <laughs> will you lie down and perish like a dog? Yeah, totally. Will you? Yeah, fuck it. Depending on how scary the thing Fool is. Fool that you are, you trust the chemicals? Perishing like a dog seems okay. Or do you simply acknowledge that it is what it is and try to find I don't know, something? This Kingdom meaningful? Hearts shit is getting inside you. It's real getting bad. inside real bad. It's that. literally Evolver Dog. Evolver. Evolver. Yes. Yes. No. It's face the complete worthless. Face the fact that it's meaningless, and then and then create meaning. It's so simple. But instead, you're like, I'm gonna fucking believe in an ice Kingdom wall because I got meaning. nothing going on. And I need to find a reason. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking make a balloon to float up as high as I can. Oh man! And fucking put my life on the line and not crash and die and go. Oh yeah, I saw the curvature of the Earth. No nah, man, you saw the ice wall. Even though the the guy who did the Red Bull fucking thing that went up yeah. that high, he didn't see the curvature of the Earth. The things that we saw, those photos and whatnot, were just the goddamn uh, uh fucking fish eye. Like you can't make your own fucking rocket to see that shit. Well, you know they're going to yeah and they're gonna see that it's really been mm -hmm. flat mm -hmm. flat surrounded by an ice wall you know what the craziest thing about the ice wall thing i don't know if you saw the whole Fucking... picture matt is yeah, yeah, but I it's a flat earth inside an ice wall on a spherical ice earth because that's how it makes the gravity stuff make sense. And that's how <laughs> you got to shoehorn I'm just the planetary stuff in stuff. there to make it work. I'm just salty that they picked Kubrick and not like Michael Bay to be the one who filmed yeah. the moon landing. You know? Yeah, that'd be dope. So many more explosions and some type of nationality that's making a big to do. <laughs> We Either be it Asian or black, there's always going to be one in okay, a Michael okay, Bay movie okay. that's pointing okay, or screaming. On. Can we get... We do, okay, here we go. I'm workshopping it. Yeah. Uh, 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 videos of the moon landing <laughs> as directed by other directors. Oh, right? Man. That's one small step for man, and doves fly out from <laughs> behind <laughs> the lunar module. <laughs> and then, and and then a bunch of, the and like, rocket that's coming up, a guy gets on top of the <laughs> rocket and starts like like avoiding meteors. And the fucking astronaut has two guns, and he puts them on his chest, <laughs> and he crosses and, and kisses each one. Yeah, yeah. And they have fucking... Uh, uh, they he has a crucifix on over the goddamn fucking astronaut suit. That's a good one. If anyone can think up any more during the remainder of this podcast, just, never say who it is, but just be self-assured that yeah. if you just describe of, okay, so <laughs> there's a guy that's about to like put in uh, the flag into the uh, moon, but you can't see it because there's just so many lens flares coming off <laughs> all of the other planets and light sources. So we don't know what happened. You know? Uh, yeah. I want to see David Lynch films the moon landing. It's just a picture of the it's, moon it's, for it's, 17 it's, hours. It's a picture of the moon that Slowly zooms zoom in, in for 20 minutes to the, the bottom. And there's Neil and Glenn and they stare at each other. And then it zooms in on the hole where the flag is going to go. Yeah. Then it shows you a picture of the flag. And then it shows you like a bumblebee in Arizona yeah, 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 yeah. getting eaten by a bird. No, that's, that's, that's the one. That's, that's what makes God it. God damn it. Uh, the flag goes into the moon, and then Beach Boys music starts playing, and we zoom in on Neil Armstrong's foot for a while. Yeah, we zoom, we yeah. get a real, real close tied up on his foot, and then which is weird because he's not wearing the spacesuit around the foot; it's just the raw foot. And then, and then out of nowhere, he gets shot in the head. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, they're about to uh, zoom up to the moon and the rocket, and they play the music "Fly Me to the Moon." Yeah! And and the background is all CG. Yes! And, and and all the astronauts have these buff man bodies, but huge tits at the same time. That's Slow right. motion. And it's really dark. And and, and dark, okay, okay, okay. And, and and Neil Armstrong, he's got the flag in his hand and he's yeah. floating through the air yeah, in yeah, slow yeah, mo. Yeah. And he's planting it and he's like, oh bam! And when he slams it in, a huge shock wave Dave. comes off the flagpole and shoots off the surface oh, of the moon. And there's allegories to Christ yeah. all over. <laughs>
<sighs> that's, strong. That, that's, that's the best strong. one. Strong. That's the best one. Yep. Oh man, we should get into news. We've been yeah. we've been faffing about. I'm just getting to faffing the faffing about. No faffing, faffing. Eh. Our top story this week. Can't wait. This is my favorite news story of today. The bootleg verse. See, I said that before I saw it, but I'm still right. So. It's a good thing that Castlevania season two is as good, or you know, the whole thing together is as good as it is. Because it's like, if this was announced out of the blue with like no credit to it, I'd be like, that sounds like it's going to be horse shit. The, the creator, Castlevania Netflix creator reveals Devil May Cry animated series. It will be the next Netflix anime based on the Japanese video game that you like. So, uh, who, who said this last Addie time? Shankar. You talked about watching the Devil May Cry actual anime. When I've never said, watched it. I felt nothing. Yeah, I said that. Uh, I watched like it. That. Okay. that shit is terrible. I watched, like, two episodes of that. So, uh, two things come to mind. One, obviously, Castlevania being as awesome as it was gives uh, hope that this is going to be also be treated uh, great. And also the comments that uh, he has made about Berserk <laughs> have, have also made people very, very confident because he basically shat on the new Berserk and went, man, I wish I got the ability to do Berserk and like do someone it Someone give me the rights to that and I'll do it. To the original art because that needs to be brought because back. Because the thing with Castlevania is that it's not too far from Berserk in its tone. It's really not. And it's violence levels. Like, there's just some w fucking wipeouts in Castlevania. Mm -hmm. The thing to keep in mind, of course, again, is that this is not the writer. This is not Ellis. This is not, you this know what I mean? It's the showrunner. It's the showrunner. So it doesn't mean that the content creation talent is going into this in the exact same way. It's true. It just means the, the same end, person at the, at the, the helm though, of the, the production. The showrunner is what gathers the group of individuals yes. to do it. And if you're able to do that well once, very well, then like, that's at least, okay, well, I gather you're going to get a good enough team to do it a second time around because you saw the value. Of so the runners first team driving around, around fi looking at artists and writers on the street and gang going, hey, you look good, get in. Yes. In, and and that, is, that is ultimately the best hope is that you have enough, you're, you're a good enough showrunner that you know how to build a good team. Yeah. You know? The showrunner for Walking Dead season one was Frank Darabont. Then they got rid of him. And then all the other seasons of Walking Dead happened. That's correct. Matt was telling a true story 